Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Life Made Easy. And today I'm going to be bringing you a quick tutorial on how to decrease your Fortnite ping as well as your Xbox ping. And let's get right into it. Yeah, I'm like, oh god, oh, oh my god. Hey guys, before the video starts, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also check out my merch store and my Discord. Let's go. Okay, guys, today's shout out is we going to a guy named Smiley Face Zinth. Currently has 385 subscribers. Uh, seems to be uploading some Fortnite content right here. Uh, just 11 kill solo gameplay. Yep, mostly Fortnite content. Just every weekend, go support them, guys. Now let's hop into the video. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be uh, explaining some simple methods um, on ways to decrease lag, decrease your ping, and overall have a better connection when it comes to your Xbox games, but more specifically Fortnite. Um, that's where I'm targeting this video more. Um, some of these you guys probably know, some are pretty obvious, um, and some maybe you've never thought of doing. So, um, yeah, let's just hop right into it. Uh, first one, a lot of this stuff is going to be within settings, so just make sure to go in your My Games and Apps and just scroll down to settings. Hold up. So I'm streaming this from my Xbox. Might be a little laggy, but let's go up. Any second now. There we go. Okay, you want to make your way into settings. And the first step is you're going to go to power and startup. Just click those options. And you're going to want to make your way over to this option right here. And it usually has it on instant on. Uh, you want to change that to energy saving. Um, just helps with like boot up and stuff. And that can overall help you have a little better of a connection. So just want to change that to energy saving. And just back out of that. Oh, whoops. Okay. And then you want to make your way over to <coughs> uh, disc and Blu-ray. And you want to hit Blu-ray, and over here you want to go to, down to Persistent Storage, and you basically want to clear your Persistent Storage just to free up space. Just click that. Okay, so you did that now. Um, one other thing is uh, this is a, this is like a alternate. Um, method is just sometimes NAT type can have an effect on this, not having an open NAT type. Um, if you have this er issue, you can just go to um, network settings and then just um, keep testing your connection over and over again until you get like a, uh, a um, open NAT type, as well as uh, make sure you're clearing your alternate uh, MAC address. That's one thing that can help. Okay, so those are some like specific settings that you can adjust within your Xbox to decrease your ping and overall lessen your lag. Uh, some more common sense ones that people don't really think about. I'm, the number one option that I think everyone should do is just to strictly play on... Oh, I just got out as a friend. It's to strictly play on um, wired connection, Ethernet connection. Basically connect your, uh, your Xbox directly to your router. This is going to like decrease your latency, it's going to decrease your ping a ton, your connection is going to be 10 times smoother rather than running on Wi-Fi because leading into my next point, Wi-Fi can be affected and your ping can be affected. Um, you can have packet loss um, and it can be affected from other people using your Wi-Fi at the exact same time. So, for example, if you are playing a game that requires a lot of um, internet connection, and someone else is on your same Wi-Fi network downloading a huge movie or uploading a huge file to the internet. Um, that's going to take up a lot of bandwidth, and that's going to basically make your ping rise, your latency rise, um, and basically make you ha lag a little more, um, and basically increase your input lag. So whenever you're uh, um, moving your character and inputting an action into Fortnite, uh, that action is going to take longer to actually show up on uh, to show up on screen because 
um, that data has to go to your router and then to the Fortnite server and come back. Um, and basically when other people are on your Wi-Fi, that can have a huge impact on it. So um, those are some quick tips I have for you guys. I hope these uh, tips help you. Um, make sure to update your console too. That can be a little beneficial. But um, with all that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel notifications for that shout out. Um, as well as go use my supporter creator code or tag in Fortnite. All you have to do is go to the item shop and in the bottom right corner, click the supporter creator and type in scoot4321. Linked below, helps out the channel financially. Um, yeah, go follow me on all my social media, guys. Join my Discord if you want to just have a quick chat. And that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.